that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! What's up guys and welcome back to episode 9 of the free to play skiller series. Starting out this video with 454 total level and all of these stats you can see here. The only quest that we have left to do is Mistalin Mystery and the Shield of Arav. Still not sure if we're going to complete Demon Slayer yet. We don't really need to because we already have Silverlight, but it would be nice to be able to green log all of the free to play quests that I can actually complete. I ended last video saying I'm going to go fishing and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I will see you in Barbarian Village. One of the reasons I decided to do the Christmas event in a previous video is because it gives you access to the snow globe, which is right here. And what the snow globe allows you to do is actually three tick fish in free to play. But explaining how to three tick fish in free to play is kind of a pain, so I'm not. Okay, so once you're at Barbarian Village or wherever you're going to be fishing, hold down your shift key and right click the snow globe. Go down to swap left click and select snow. That way you can just regularly click the snow globe for it to snow instead of right clicking it. Okay, so once you're in front of your fishing spot, click the snow globe to make it snow. And as soon as the snow spawns, you want to click on it. And then the second your character starts the animation of picking the snow up, you then want to click on the fishing spot. Doing this will make your rod sort of slap the water. And if that happens, that's exactly what you want. If your timing's a little bit off, your character will sort of slow cast into the water, which is something you don't want to happen since it's slower than regularly fishing. So if you notice you start to slow cast, it usually is from clicking the fishing spot too quickly by not letting your character start the picking up snow animation. Fix the issue of slow casting, just click the snow again, wait for your character to start the animation, and then click the fishing spot to slap it. Okay, once you've slapped the fishing spot, the second you see it slap the spot, click the snow, wait for the animation to start, then click the fishing spot again, and then repeat from there. So to sum it all up in a TLDR, click the snow globe, click the snow, wait for the animation to start, click the fishing spot, slap the water, click the snow, and repeat. The only annoying part of 3 tick fishing in free to play is that the snow does the spawn after several seconds, but it's not really a big deal because it allows you a moment to drop the fish in your inventory. So once the snow disappears, click the snow globe for it to respawn, and while it's coming back, you can actually drop the fish in your inventory. Depending on your fishing level, you will either get fish faster or slower, but as you guys can see, I'm level 51 fishing and I'm currently getting between 46 and 47,000 XP an hour. So yeah, that about sums up free tick fishing in free to play. There is another method you could do with cooking and eating the fish that you catch. That's a bit too much for me. And I honestly don't really care about cooking the fish. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know you could do this, please drop a like below and leave a comment as well. It really helps out my channel with the algorithm. So I really, really do appreciate it. And I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. I'm going to fish regularly real quick. And we're going to see how much XP an hour you get. Not three tick fishing. Okay, I've been fishing regularly for several minutes. It appears that the XP per hour is about 34 to 35,000 XP an hour, which is a whole 12,000 XP less than what we were getting three tick fishing. And keep in mind, if my fishing level was higher, we'd be getting more fish and that XP rate would be even higher than 47k XP an hour. So three tick fishing is definitely worth it. Level 55 pitching coming in here, only five levels away to level 60. Hey, just got my first clue bottle in a while. Let's see what this one is here. And of course, it's a dig one. Chances are it's on Ice Mountain and we are right next to it. So let's go get this thing done. All right, we got another clue and this one is in Varrock. And what we need is a, an iron dagger. Not bad. Not sure if I have one in the bank, but I guess we'll go check. I do not have any iron bars in the bank. But apparently, I don't actually need them. Ever since the end of 2022, they released an update that you can actually bring Charlie items from your bank or from the Grand Exchange, and he will accept them. It didn't always used to be this way. It used to be that you had to actually make the items and bring them to him yourself. But apparently, you don't. And thank you to all of the comments letting me know that. Really saves me a bunch of time, and I really do appreciate it. All right, we've been given a third clue, and this one is behind the Wizard's Tower. <laughs> Here's the last step of the clue scroll. We've now got our sixth beginner casket, and let's see what we get. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. So the way the skill tabs used to work is if you were a free-to-play account and you were never a member, it used to gray out your member skills. And a lot of people, including myself, really liked how that looked, but they semi-recently changed it so that everything is the same. And I don't really like it, to be honest. I thought I'd be stuck like this until I just randomly started browsing around Runelight. And if you go into the plugin hub and you type in skills organizer and then install it, you can then click on this little gear right here to configure it. And it allows you to do all sorts of things. So for example, as a free to play skiller, I can't train agility. 
So I can either move it anywhere I want. So if I choose position one, it'll go up here. You could do all sorts of customization with this thing. But as you guys can see over here, agility, visibility, I could change it to hide, which will hide it all together. Fade, which darkens it out, kind of like how it used to look. And dark, which really darkens it. So what I'm going to do now is hide everything that is a member's skill. And maybe we can have some fun here reorganizing everything. Okay, so I came up with something like this. I'm not sure if I actually like this or not. Kind of don't. It seems like I kind of messed up. It's kind of ugly. I don't know. Maybe even something like this. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. Uh, let me know if you guys like this kind of layout or not. So I think I've settled with actually just graying out the skills like they used to be before they updated it. And uh, yeah, so that's how you guys can do the same thing I am. It's with the skills organizer plugin from the plugin hub. No shot. This is like my second inventory after getting back. We have yet another clue bottle. All right. Casket number seven. And what are we going to get? The biggest piece of dog sh Here comes level 60 fishing. Skill tab is looking very nice now. Not sure if I'm going to go do some mining or some smithing. I think I'm going to go do some mining first because it's a little bit more annoying than smithing. But I guess we'll see. Level 55 mining coming in. Just here power mining with my other account here blocking and killing the scorpions when they attack me until I lose aggro. It's not too bad here. Had to outcompete some bots. But yeah, I guess I will see you guys at level 60 mining. Just got the beekeeper event. Not sure what item we're going to receive upon completion, but I guess we'll see in a second here. And it is the beekeeper's hat. And I just realized that I just lost aggro from going into that random event. But yeah, there's another item down for the collection log. Hey, yo, what the f Oh, okay. Thank you, Shannon, for bringing the scorpion over to me right through my body block. Gotta love it. At least it's not too far of a run back. Whoa, what is this? A holy hand egg? I have absolutely no idea what this is and how I got it. Okay, upon looking up the holy hand egg online, I saw a Reddit article and apparently people are saying that throwing holy hand eggs at bots makes them break. Not sure how true that is, but yeah, I guess someone threw it at me at some point. Never really noticed because of my Fashionscape plugin. But yeah, I guess someone thinks I'm just a bot here power mining as a level 3. One more rock until we get level 60 mining. We can now enter the mining guild, which I don't think I'll be doing. I think this spot's actually better in free to play. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll check later. But we can also mine size six stars as well. I completely forgot about mining shooting stars. I was going to do that for more AFK type experience. Maybe we'll do those a little bit later when our levels are too annoying to just power mine through. So I started doing the math on how many steel plate bodies I'm going to need in order to get from level 50 to level 60 smithing. And the answer is I need to make 920 steel plate bodies. To make a steel plate body, you need five steel bars, which means I will need to buy 4,600 steel bars, which unfortunately is just over 2 mil GP. Put that into perspective, I don't even have that in my bank right now. So I guess I'm going to be going broke in order to get level 60 smithing. Unless I want to make steel bars by using two coal and one iron ore. It'll take a lot longer to get to level 60 smithing, but I'll only lose 108,000 GP. So I think I might maybe just do from level 50 to 55 smithing, making steel bars. And then from 55 smithing to 60, I'd be doing steel plate bodies. Not 100% sure, but I guess once again, we will see. Okay, so I just spent 1.8 mil on enough ore to get me to level 55 smithing. I'm going to have to make 3,730 steel bars in order to do that. So it's going to be quite a while until I am finished. According to the calculator, I should be only losing around 41,000 GP, which isn't bad whatsoever. I just hope it doesn't take too long making these. All right, this is the last inventory until we get to level 55 smithing. 
We're only getting about 11.2 thousand XP an hour, so it's very slow and there's a lot of walking because you can only smelt nine bars at a time. But regardless, here comes level 55 smithing and we can now make mithril scimitars. If I wanted to smelt more steel bars all the way up to level 60 smithing, I would need to do another 6,121 steel bars. And getting about 11,000 XP an hour, this would take almost 10 hours. I'm not sure if that's really what I want to do, but it's either that or lose 780k GP making steel plate bodies. So doing the math, it appears we actually lost 216k making these steel bars. So was it really worth it? I don't know. I think if we make more steel bars, we'll actually lose about just as much as the steel plate bodies. So I think we are going to make steel plate bodies instead of smelting more steel bars. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for these to buy and I will see you at level 60 smithing. All right, and there we go. Level 60 smithing went by really quick. We were getting about 105,000 XP an hour. I was not running at all. I left my run off. Didn't really feel like dealing with managing that. But yeah, guys, level 60 smithing. We can now make mithril battle axes. And now our skill tab is basically base 60s, except for runecrafting. Not sure yet when I'm going to do runecrafting, but I am very excited to have all of these level 60 stats. It looks so nice. So real quick, I'm going to go sell all of these steel plate bodies. We're going to see how much money we lost. Oh my god, so we spent 1.2 mil on the bars to make these steel plate bodies. And if they all sell for basically the highest price I can get them for, hopefully, we'll be getting back 412,000 coins, which means that we would have lost 800k. Not too happy about that. So uh, yeah, we only got five levels for 800k. I'm not looking forward to training this stat in the future, unless we can find a way to actually profit off of smithing. But yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to be ending today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like below. And if you haven't done so already and you want to see more progress, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. But anyway, with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.